Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. Man, I just came back from Mexico. This is my fifth Animalia that I've been to. And it, you know, I wish I could film a lot of the filming out there, but the problem that, uh, with that filming is that it's so loud in there. And dude, they had over 15,000 people this weekend on those two days. And this is pretty cool, cause since, you know, I've been doing a lot of vlogging, I've been, you know, trying to get, you know, the whole, you know, Mexico market, you know, just, just promoting it. Um, this is the first time that the tables all sold in the first three hours. There was people offering people money for them to split the table or offering them money uh, and they'll pay the table just so they can have animals there it was freaking insane but the reason why I can't film there it's it's so loud in there and then any if I were to try to film you can't pick up none of the audio it was crazy but man it was super super cool I can't tell you guys how crazy just the whole reptile industry is growing in Mexico and just overall in the whole entire world. But uh, guys, today we're gonna go through our other second half of our holdbacks from early 2021. But uh, first, I just got back yesterday and we had to cut a lot of clutches and Tina goes, look at the sink. I think she's happy because she cleaned in the spotless. Come on, turtle, show your sink up, girl. Show it up. I cleaned it. What did you say? What did you say? Let well, there was, there was pearl oh, light everywhere. Let me see. So what did you say when I came in here? What was the first thing you said? Okay, I was like, look at the sink. And I was like, <laughs> and you're okay. like, okay, hold on. And then you're all, look at it. I was like, look at it. <laughs> but yeah, that was cool though, man. Big shout out to the turtle. I know she doesn't like to be on the vlog, really. But I'm um, also, guys, check this out. We have the new Freedom Breeder racks over here now. I told you guys when you guys see the next vlog, you guys are gonna see them. We have this completely filled up. We have the other ones over here, the ones that you guys already saw the holdbacks on. And you, look how big these things are, man. Let's see. Oh, look at that. A little shed. There. And it was so cool because the first time, the first day that we did this, um, they're all the way in the back nice and warm. Let's see some more. But you guys already saw all of these bad boys. But yeah, they, um, um, I didn't think they were going to be feeding. You know, we're always worried, like, how are they going to do? You know, because they're on the new, um, on the new rack, new tub. But they all actually started eating really, really good. We have this one here with no, um, snakes in it whatsoever. But all these right here, what I'm going to be doing is, we're gonna be clearing out a lot of our breeder females. I think we're gonna have like 20 to 30 uh, breeder females that we're gonna be putting up our Patreon tomorrow, actually, actually today. And then I'm gonna be moving all the males that are on this side over here, and then all of these snakes over here, I'm gonna be mixing up over there. But I have like really bad like OCD, so I have to like put, trust me, Astina, I have to put things the way I like them. So then that'll mean that these two racks here are gonna be nothing but males, and then everything else is gonna be females which we're really, really excited about. Also, um, let me show you guys a couple things. I'll do a couple of videos, like real thorough, like, you know, the stuff that we're hatching and things like that. But uh, I know some of these things are already shut out. Here's that clown clutch. Look at this. Where's the, uh, the hold back here? Look at that. So freaking cool, man. But Look all of them else came out the same. Yeah, he does, like the eyebrows. Yeah. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, dude, I just posted this on, um, on my Instagram. Come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Mm. This was, so this was our first redhead um, snake that we hatched. Visual, and this is my holdback of, um, of this year. But look how beautiful this is. And this right here is a world's first. This right here is a spot nose redhead mystic clown. I actually had another uh, redhead um, clown here. It's a redhead mystic. And this is a female. Look how beautiful it is, man. This will be going up for sale. And what else do we have here? The chocolates. They all um, shed out as well. I'll do another video going through all of these right here because we have some other sunset stuff here too that's uh, hatching. Look at this. There's a paradox in here that's so beautiful. It's actually shedding, it's not hatching. Did I say hatching? Yeah. Damn, it's I okay, talked I tight. Oh, well, here's one sunset. And I believe this right here is a cinnamon red stripe. Oh, it's right here. I can't see that. Look at this. Look at the paradox on this one. How cool is that? All right, guys. I'm not going to bore you with stuff like that, but we have a lot of stuff hatching, man. Super, super cool. All right, so let's get to these females, these snakes right here that I'm going to be hopefully breeding next season. These were early 2021 snakes right here. Um, and uh, let's see. Let's start off with... Um, Right here we have a uh, sunset head clown male right here I'll show you some of the males first then we have this bad boy right here male it's an orange dream yellow belly inchy pied head desert ghost 
down here is one of my favorites. Man, this guy is just, I mean, I got so lucky with him. Super Orange Dream Fire Clown Pied. And then we have, I, so I have a couple snakes here that I don't have labeled yet, a few of them. But um, we got this bad boy right here, our Sun Clown, our Sunset Clown Male. It's our third visual male that we have here. And we have a couple of um, heads as well, just cause you know, with all the stuff that we're holding back, we definitely want to hit this project crazy next year. Um, and then we have our backup um, male for, for that project, for the, for the Clown Pied project, which is an Orange Dream Leopard Clown Pied Proven. This one right here is so freaking sick, man. And look at this guy. Sorry that I have to mess you guys up. But um, I was so happy when I made this meal. There's so much females that I want to put him towards. This right here is a Cypress Black Pastel Hypo Krypton 50% Het Desert Ghost. Now, hopefully, now that they're doing the Desert Ghost chatting on the on the genetic on the shed testing, hopefully, you know, this guy proves out to be Het Desert Ghost too. I mean, this guy's gonna be a freaking powerhouse. So we have that right there. What else do we have? Okay, so now let's go to the females here. I don't believe I have any more males. So let's go off that Black Pastel Cypress. Um, Hypo Krypton 50% Head Desert Ghost. We actually have the non Krypton version of, of that same combo. And look at this. Look how pretty it is. Not as broken up. But yeah, again, Black Pastel Cypress Hypo Head Clown 50% Head Desert Ghost. Now, guys, here's a project that I'm super, super excited about. Um, let me bring this down here. So, and these I will, I mean, I'm pretty sure they will be ready this, um, this season. But look at this. Yellow Belly Hypo Double Head Desert Ghost Puzzle. Now that's the male, and that guy pretty much is, you know, he's ready to go. Now I have a lot of females from that project. I pretty much kept everything. The only problem is that on these three females, two of them both, two of them have yellow belly. So, you know, I could hit that, you know, the ivory. I mean, obviously I, I could probably hit the triple visual, but it'll look like a freaking white snake. But those are the odds that I'm gonna have to, you know, like take, you know, just to, you know, hit those. But it is what it is. Here's some of them, and look how big they are, man. They're already around 1,000 grams. But right here we have an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Triple Het Hypo Puzzle Desert Ghost. We have this girl right there. That's one of them. And these will be, you know, hopefully breeding this season. This is the one that I feel that'll keep me away from hitting the um, the ivory. But we have a. Just a hypo double head puzzle desert ghost. We have this girl right there. And then we have this, just like the male, which you know has yellow belly in it. But what could we do? Kind of looks green. Yellow belly hypo double head uh, puzzle DG. So that's that right there. Um, then we have, check this out. We have some of these girls right here. All these girls are over a thousand grams. This is pretty cool, man. This is a freaking powerhouse. Right here, we have an ODYB Inchy Pin Pied. 100% head desert ghost. Remember, this is the one that came out from that, that vlog I did that was a lottery odds. And then we have this one right here, which is an OD Leopard double head desert ghost pie. <clears throat> and then remember these girls right here, guys. Look how big they got. These are Gotham Head Sunset. So it's Coral Glow Leopard Clown 100% head sunset. Then we have another Sunset Clown female. We have a Sunset Head Clown. Dude, I have the perfect male for that girl right there. Um, then we have another Gotham female. Like I said, all these girls here are around a thousand grams. You know, so we, we're not gonna be breeding or pairing nothing up till I wanna say maybe, well, we always go by the ultrasound, um, but I think we're gonna be pairing up like hardcore around like April maybe around like May around that time because I we started really early and look how late we ended up going to the season. And then we have three leopard clown, 100% head sunsets. Again, all around thousand grams. Look at that. And then we have our Cypress Inchi sunset that I think is one of the prettiest snakes. Then we have this DG Krypton. Sorry, yeah, DG Krypton. Did you I always have to look. Then we have a yellow belly desert ghost head clown. What else do we have here? Mandarin cypress head hypo. That, that was about to tag me. How pretty that thing is. Then we have blackhead leopard redheads. Red striped yellow belly batmans. 
These were kind of like, a, they, sh they were actually on this side right here, but I moved these over here. Mystic, Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, possible Hep Pied. Hope it proves out. So this is Mystic, Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, Batman. Freaking powerhouse right there. Here's another cool one here. This right here is a Cypress Fire Zuwadi Vanilla Heck Clown. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, these are really cool right here, guys. Check this out. I love this snake right here, man. This snake is so pretty. So this snake right here is a, let's see what it is. Orange Dream Mojave Fire Cypress Double Hat uh, Clown Pied. Then we have the same thing, but this is a Krypton and without the Mojave. How cool is that? And these are just some of our holdbacks, man. We're already holding back some crazy stuff over there. So if you guys ever come here, and you guys see anything that has and that says HB on it, or you see something here down on this side, it's our holdbacks and it's what we're keeping. And as you can see what we're keeping here, another Sunset Clown. Um, we have some Mandarin stuff here that's just freaking beautiful, man. I mean, look how orange this thing is. It looks like a super Mandarin. It sort of looks like the color of your pants. No, I would say not. But how freaking orange is this, man? This thing is freaking beautiful. And it's double hat hypo pied. We have other home bags here. We have a lot of inchy uh, sunset head clowns. Another one, inchy needs to be in uh, in this in this project, man. I mean, inchy and sunset just work really, really good together. Wookie cypress leopard head clown. So this is what I was talking about. If you see anything that says HB, HB, it's because it's our holdbacks. Leopard pin desert ghost pied. Look at that. She's in shed. Actually kept two females back. Here's another one. Pretty crazy. Yeah, and we have a lot of other stuff, guys. Sorry, I'm starting to break a sweat here. But these are going to be going on for on Patreon today as a sell, and I will be doing my Black Friday uh, Cyber Monday sell. I know a lot of people were doing out there, I was waiting for them to get theirs out of the way because we just had a lot of people putting stuff up there and you know we were just waiting for a couple of other stuff to hatch out but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as always we appreciate all of the support Till next time peace <laughs>